Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Srikant, and today we will be solving this problem of find digits of hyperbank. So, we are given an integer n, traverse its digits d1 to dn and determine how many digits evenly divide n. Let's directly go to the sample test case. Uh, so, there are two test cases uh, 12 and 102n. n is 12, and here n is 1012. And we have to check whether uh, each digit in this number divides this number itself. So, 1 will divide 1012. 0 uh, 1012 divided by 0 is undefined, so for, therefore, 0 will not be in the solution. Again, 1 will divide uh, 1012 and 2 will also divide 1012, therefore, the answer is 3. And so on for 12. Say uh, 1 will also divide 12 and 2 will also divide 12. Okay it's a very simple problem let's start coding this problem so the taking input part is uh, already given uh, let's say we take it in a temporary variable n okay we have already taken input n and then we keep it in a temporary variable what we will do is we will extract each digit from the right hand side and for that <coughs> we will use a standard procedure to extract the digits so while temp, uh, temp is greater than 0 what we will do is temp uh, r is equal to temp modulo 10 ok we will say integer r ok this we will get the remainder the rightmost digit of the uh, temp okay now temp is equal to temp by 10 so this will give the rest of the digits except the right right hand side digit so temp uh, modulo uh, 10 will be 2 here okay and temp divided by 10 will be 101 here Okay, I hope I am making this point clear. Then, if R is uh, not equal to 0 and number is divisible by R equal to equal to 0. Fine then we will increase the count ok we will add a count variable is equal to 0 fine at the end of this loop what we will do is we will simply print this count ok cool enough there should be an end line between each test case ok so to iterate again we will extract the rightmost digit by using this temp modulo 10 and we will extract the rest of the digits uh, the left hand side of the digit except the right digit is through making temp is equal to temp by 10 ok it will only get the quotient then we will check if it is not equal to 0 the digit is not 0 then we will try the division to, uh, and see if the division is 0 ok there is no remainder therefore if there is no remainder we increment the count ok let's try to run this uh, test case so num was not declared in the scope uh, it should be n ok So this test case is passed, let's submit the code. So all the test cases are passed. Hope you liked watching this video. Uh, do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have already not done so and share it with your friends and on Facebook and whatever social media. Thank you.